guy, this guy may be the best middleweight in the world. We don't know. We want to see. We want to see it with our own eyes. The way every boxing fan thing for everyone. Because what Gennady Golovkin represents is someone who was just waiting for an opportunity. Champion Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Now on the scales. 159. 159. 159 pounds for the undefeated middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Straight ahead, please. Face each other, please. Champion versus champion. Former WBF Super Middleweight World Champion. Current WBC Andrew Rayman Middleweight World Champion. The recent rise of Gennady Triple G Golovkin has been one of the fastest rise to fame of an overseas fighter in boxing history aside from Manny Pacquiao. Bringing excitement to the ring is something that big punchers always excel at in regards to putting people in seats and in front of televisions. However, with Golovkin, this time it seemed the hype is real due to his amateur background and Olympic pedigree. The man seemed to go on a tie ride, igniting the canvas with his signature cold and calculated Eastern European pressure fighting style. This surely won the hearts over of many boxing fans of the last four years since his American Live HBO debut against Gregor's Proxa in 2012, which he delivered in spectacular fashion. After his match, it seemed like the entire middleweight division of opponents were doomed and there was a new aura in the air of devastation to come. This was really the first taste of Eastern European fighters on American TV in a heavy dose, besides the reigning heavyweight Klitschko brothers. Golovkin lit the fire of fans rapidly waiting to see more KOs on American soil from an Eastern Bloc fighter in the smaller middleweight division which is considered one of the world's most prestigious and toughest divisions besides heavyweight and welterweight. Golovkin pounded the pavement, putting in 345 amateur fights even before turning pro. He had gotten taken advantage of by his old promotional company, Universe and Promotions, which prevented him any title fights with belt holders, which held him back from becoming a household name in the early years. If there was no hold on his status of high-end fights, Triple G would have been a title holder years in advance. He then picked up his first belt, retaining the vacant WBO in 2009. The rest was history.
pass into Central Eastern Europe, where my Czechoslovakian last name derives from, the air becomes clear, the architecture more ancient, and the women more exotic. As we pass the Czech Republic, we come into the mountains and hills of Slovakia, where my ancestors derive from on the border of Ukraine. Nazdravi. The hills turn into desolation and quietness, and the commotion of fast-paced Western society seems to slowly drift away into the air. This stretch of land laid behind the Eastern Bloc Iron Curtain for years on a communist USSR from the end of World War II 1945 to 1991. Remnants of the Iron Curtain can still be seen on this bordering fence in Bratislava, Slovakia, where ancient ghosts of oppression is a sobering reminder of how long Eastern Europe remained under communist ruling. Now under its own diplomatic state, which received independence from Soviet Russia in 1990, and its independence from Czech Republic on January 1st, 1993 in the Velvet Split. Slovakia hosts the most ancient castles per capita of any nation on Earth. As we travel past the capital of Slovakia, Bratislava, across to the border into Ukraine, we are met with the recent violence of wars among the remnants and dilapidated tank depots of the former Soviet Union.
понимаю, что если я это делаю, если у меня что-то если это Enter Vasily Lomachenko, the Matrix. There are many words to describe Lomachenko in the ring. However, I like to use the word artistry. Each fight is so highly anticipated of what angles and shots he looks to use that it is almost as if he is painting picture-perfect portrait of realism and destruction. It is simply remarkable to watch him work in the ring. He seems to work in timing that is always 10 steps ahead of his opponent, calculating which shots he knows to anticipate and which shots he knows he can get the angles on to make them look utterly foolish. He seems to be at the echelon of boxing skills and has mastered the fundamentals of boxing. Defeat, that's a split decision loss. He's recognized by many as among the best in the world, pound for pound, from Ackerman, Ukraine, the two time world champion, reigning, defending WBO junior lightweight champion of the world, Vasily High Tech Lomachenko. Great amateur pedigree really paid off. 396 amateur fights, 395 wins. Not bad. <laughs> Including two times Olympic gold medalist was named the best boxer overall in the Olympic Games. And he's getting ready to get rid of Salito. Doesn't even care if he ever has to avenge it because he surpassed that at this point, going on to win a featherweight world title and now a 130 pound world title. In fact, Orlando Salito was offered this fight and turned it down for $750,000. He said no, so Lomachenko marches on it. Opponents land only 17% of their total punches against Lomachenko. That's number two in the world. The old timers would say it so far very simply. Lomachenko is the boss. Trying to set up that, something upstairs. That's what he does. That's what he does his little David Copperfield magician stuff, sleight of hand. But if I was Mariaka, I would actually throw that right hand to the body, as opposed to Charles Costa. He says, come on, I'm going to sit right here in this neutral corner. You come to me. Look at this. Lomo waving him in. Wide right hand from Mariaga dancing in his face. It's a spider telling the Beatle, come on in. Boy, oh boy, is he entertaining. He says, let's make a fight of it. 
knockdown scored. Antics played the silly. Uppercut. Joe, watch the look at it. Again. Put his face right out there, lowering his guard defensively. So I can do anything in this ring. Absolutely. No what are you trying to do? Breaking his will. Some pity pat and then some power punches. Remember, he lands 51% of his power punches, number three among all time active fighters. Yeah, you can catapult yourself. You can hit that rope. Look at how he's able to follow Mariaga and place those punches. Mariaga now. This is what he's able to him. The body stationary. Go downstairs, put some water in the basement. Take that head movement away. Or even Neil and Matrix every once in a while made a mistake. <laughs> so there's that little trick we talked about or we showed in the breakdown of the film earlier where Lonnie Chicken was yes. to the right and throw the left hand. This is a fighter in complete control each and every time he's out there. Touching him to the sides, then goes to the head. Now creating just a little bit of space is the south end. That's where he needs to go, downstairs to the body. Love the check. When Mariano puts those earmuffs on, you go. So we're not necessarily following what the magician wants you to follow. Mariaga finding himself off balance for a moment and look at Lomachenko again. And now a little Ali shuffling back to business. Yeah, he doesn't have he doesn't have hydrogen in his punches. That's the one place he hasn't been gifted. Not a huge punch. He wants to break you down. He knows what his strength is. And I hate to use this word, but he might even know what his weaknesses are. Kind of like the Clintons with him. You know, man must know his limitations. Six dominating rounds in the books for Vasily Lomachenko. Well, no. he's the only guy right now in boxing that's doing that. That's the reason why I got There used two. to be a player years ago in football. So many weight dimensions because of his size and his abilities. He left uppercut from Lomachenko here. Now places a right hand to the body and comes upstairs with that right hand to Pablo. Trying to split the guard. Goes around, doubles up the left hand. Comes. Can anybody say demoralizing? That is it, isn't it, Teddy? I don't used to say a different line of work. Good body shot. Backs up. Good body shot again. The uppercut comes. Wraps around the guard with a right hand. Lomachenko in prime. And a little closer. Putting his eyes on Mariano. Chopping down with the right hand. Left uppercut. Things in that ring in an uncalm place that Lomachenko sees. Bolos up that left hand before firing it off and a knockdown scored with a. The end was up. The opening was around behind the ear. Lightweight champion of the world, the Silly. Stop, 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 stop. Come on.
Закрылся в себе. Это такой человек, который он все внутри себя переживает. Он очень редко показывает эмоции свои кому-то. То есть он изначально так воспитан, и он не показывает ничего. Поэтому он все внутри переживал. The unfortunate thing, I think, as I recall, was there was some negative talk from the family towards Sergey. And I got Roman's father's phone number. They said, uh, Mrs. Agus, I'm a Sergey Skovalov manager. And he goes like, oh, you guys are killers, you're murderers, you did this, you took my son away. And many people who are fans of Simakova, friends of Simakova, accordingly accepted this situation the Simakov family continues to feel the overwhelming pain of the loss of their son and took legal matters into their own hands, pressing for charges to be filed against Sergei. Kovalev has been interviewed several times by Russian police. According to Klimas, the family is pursuing charges to this day. Lucky for Sergei, uh, his manager, Agus, uh, I believe, gave him about five or six months off. I'm going to ask you one time, and I'm not going to come back no more. That's... Are you going back in the ring? When I awake from this situation, yes, I didn't want to fight, but I saw that I have nothing from, from the boxing since 11. I had just like a small apartment and nothing more. I decided that I must to fight, continue to fight for me and for him together. The most feared light heavyweight in the world comes from humble beginnings. I grew up in Chelyabinsk. Chelyabinsk gave me everything to be world champion. I used to box uh, for nothing. I fought a lot uh, outside on the streets. He grew up in a very poor environment. So he opened a refrigerator and there's like a two or three eggs in the refrigerator. That's a good day. When you decided to become a professional boxer, were you making any money early on? No, I didn't. I made money from the streets. They paid to us just like bodyguards. Nobody wanted to fight with us because everybody knows that we are boxers, that we, we had the power. After winning several amateur title fights in Russia, Kovalev rose rapidly up the ranks. He turned professional in 2009 at the age of 26. Over the next two and a half years, he fought frequently, compiling an impressive record of 16 and 1. years old my stepfather died from heart attack you know like uh, he passed away and I was very upset and I stopped boxing because really was very really disappointed 
the life, you know, I, I was emotionally killed. Boxing, you can prepare for any punch and be ready. But you never know when life can give you punch. Jay's jabs actually, but Kovalev's jab seemed to have a lot more effect uh, on Andre than Andre's jab had on Kovalev. And usually that happens when you see a guy move Left hand lands for Kovalev.
trouble and wants to finish. He's going to go for it right now. And no, Ward no, no, needs no, no, to tackle no, no, him no, 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 to block the assault. kind of a boogeyman that, uh, oh man, did you see that Russian kid that's up in Big Bear and, and Ward just got around? And then once I started catching him in the mitts, I thought, hmm, I think we have something here because uh, I felt the punches all the way down on my toes. He is the subject of the most Paul Bunyan-esque stories.
With the amount of world history from the 1940s to present day 2017, which took place in Eastern Europe along with the confrontation between the USA and Russia, it is easy to see that competitive boxing between the two nations has taken a backseat to extreme world events which have shaped the world. From the space race between USA and Russia, which was one of the economic factors of Soviet Union's collapse, to the race of building the first nuclear warhead of the Cold War, which led fear into the hearts of millions on each continent for decades. the Kosovo War of 1998 and the UN bombing campaigns and violence of 1999 to 2009, the Second Chechen War leading to 25,000 to 50,000 dead or missing. Not many know of the dark past of the Russian 1920s during the famine which killed an estimate of 5 million men, women and children which starved to death, as well as the Holodomor and sometimes currently also referred to as the Great Famine, the Ukrainian genocide of 1932 to 1933. Some scholars believe that this famine was planned by Joseph Stalin to eliminate the Ukrainian independence movement. Fast forward to the more recent revolution and violence in the Ukraine and removal of Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. The world is now seeing the immense talent that is coming out of the Eastern Hemisphere. One of these prospects who had a promising future was Dmitry Pirog. After knocking out Danny Jacobs, 
He was scheduled to fight Gennady Golovkin, but had suffered a career-ending back injury, which cut his career short. Through all the harrowing violence in history of the East, seemed to emerge talent hidden in the country, waiting to be seen on the main stage. The East was not allowed to compete with the West due to political and economic blocks. Now that these walls have been broken down in history, the Eastern men are eligible to compete on the world stage against the rest of the world's pool. To the imposing forces of the Klitschko brothers who dominated the heavyweight divisions for years, we watched the rise of a new breed of Eastern Europe fighters from Ukraine take on the world. Fall of the final Vladimir Klitschko. To the epic world blockbuster mega fight anticipated for three years between Gennady Triple G Golovkin versus HBO's poster boy Canelo Alvarez. Even though the fight ended in a severe controversy of one of the worst scorecards in the last 10 years of the draw, fans were still treated to a fantastic middleweight fight that should be remembered for years awaiting a rematch. We saw Canelo counter his way fighting in spurts, landing clean shots here and there. Even though he was in the best shape of his life at his prime peak condition, a Canelo Alvarez who trained for months on end to get in the best shape of his life could still not even keep an age pressure fighting Gennady Golovkin off him. With a constant barrage of jabs and heavy hooks which found its placement on Canelo's face, forcing him to fight Mexican style. It shows you just how talented Golovkin is, and figuring styles out which is attributed to his amateur pedigree and constant work ethic and pressure fighting style. If a 35-year-old Golovkin could outpace a 20-year-old Canelo, one can only imagine what a 28-year-old Gennady Golovkin would have done to Canelo Alvarez years back. Most likely knock him out cold. Gennady Golovkin began in the former Soviet Union when, as a young boy, he found he had a predilection for fighting.
Many years have been forged in the ring to bring his career to fruition. Not only in the ring, but out of the ring, dealing with legalities and promotional issues. It is a testament to the sheer will and determination Triple G has encompassed through his life. As you can see the pattern here, Gennady Golovkin has opened the doors to new prospects from Eastern Europe to make a living in pro boxing. This is only the beginning. The floodgates have opened from Eastern Europe. A new era has emerged. Just like in hockey when the first Russian prospects drafted to the NHL in 1994, the entire dynamics and drafting quickly changed the league. The face of the sport of boxing has now forever changed. Yeah. <laughs>